Good morning and welcome to our May Community Coffee. Um, our legislators are still in session, so that is the reason why we're not having an exit issue this morning. But we will have a legislative wrap-up in June at the Tech Center, so mark your calendars for that. Great weekend ahead of us. The ninth annual uh, State Line Shootout Baseball Tournament has been rescheduled, so if you guys uh, are looking for something to do. Uh, we had on schedule 48 teams to be here. Um, a lot of our retailers are participating with a coupon, so thank, thank you to our retailers for participating. Uh, prom is Saturday night. Uh, the Alba High School Baccalaureate is on Sunday. Graduation is Friday the 22nd. A memorial butterfly release and remembrance celebration will be held at 10 a.m. on May 25th. Uh, a summer camp schedule for kids has been put together. If you would like information, contact Jody or I at the chamber. Uh, for that information, we are receiving calls, which is, is great, and uh, they're coming from outside the area. Uh, next month, June 6th, is the Neskatunga Arts Festival. If you need information on that or would like booth information, that is also available at the chamber. Also in June, the Woods County Coalition is hosting a Gold Bug Gulp and Gallop. If you can say that three times fast, uh, you might get a prize. We are putting on a uh, program for kids, all school age children that would like to participate. They will receive a meal and a program for six weeks uh, this summer starting June 1, and we are providing transportation if you would like more information. Uh, or know of anybody that we should get information to, let us know. Uh, it, the program is free and we do have um, an exciting activity for them for every day. Uh, I've told you about the June meeting. Um, thank you to Randy and Mary for having us this morning. Wonderful breakfast. Mary, would you like to say a few words this morning? Well, I guess I was. <laughs> I didn't know that. Thank you guys for coming. Appreciate y'all coming in. We are in our 10 year. The store's been open for 10 years now. They told us we'd never make it, but we did. Uh, and it's only because of the community. Only because of the community and people like you guys that help support us and keep our doors open because a city like Alvin needs a, a grocery store. Uh, we run around between 37 and 40 employees daily. Uh, it's been fun. It's been a challenge, as all of you retailers know. Uh, the employment pool out there is hard sometimes to come up with, but we're doing great. Uh, uh, with our LMRs, we have the best group we probably have ever had. We appreciate you so much. And, uh, we just thank you guys for coming. Anything we can do to help you guys, let us know. We do catering, we do fruit trays, yeah, I mean, you name it, we can do it. If we don't have it, we'll find it. Randy, knows how to look through other books and find things that people want that you can't find anywhere else. You can find them. So we appreciate y'all coming in. Thank you. The, I didn't mention, the Alva Chamber Retail Committee will be meeting on Monday. If you guys are interested in participating, we'd love to have you. We're meeting at Gambino's at noon. Um, does anybody have any announcements? I think, Richard, did you have an announcement to make this morning? Before? I have one real short message. I'm good. Good news, the American Legion post in Alva, Oklahoma, post number 92 has been reactivated as of the first of the year. They have some uh, 20 or more members. The first project they're going to uh, start off with is placing flags around town. As you recall, it used to be every holiday, four holidays, we put up a flag. Flag day, uh, decoration day, 4th of July, and uh, 1 in November, I believe that's called... Uh, Something. It's World War One. It's called what? Veterans Day. Okay. November <laughs> 11th. I don't think that far ahead. Anyway, we'll be putting flags out. Our hope is we have 37 uh, flags that are flagable. We'll be putting them in the holes which are left in the concrete around town. And I'll we'll be talking to some of you all. It'll be a uh, $20 charge for four flags to be put out and taken in. You guys are volunteering there time preparing the flags, hoping to buy some new ones, which we need more. Recently we had about 50, about 10 or 15 that were thrown out, so we'll be talking to you shortly. Thank you.
Thank you. Does anybody else have any announcements? Um, the museum that last week um, took place and first time in the museum history, however, we changed and we didn't just have 10 kids from different grades. We had all fifth graders from middle school and we had a lot of fun. The kids had a lot of fun and the parents had a lot of fun. And we'll keep going on doing that so every child now will have once this experience to go to one of those um, we are planning on a historic house tour for the 28th Pan album. People will open us the houses or some commercial building will be open for us to discover how they were in the pioneer times or how they were stored out. And the other stuff is um, our summer camp. We have first time summer camp in the museum from 14th to the 16th of July. 9 to 1 p.m. and it's archaeology and history and it's well pioneer days and going through the socials with the field trip and digging in the dirt. So we have 30 places and 17 places are already signed up. So there are just 30 left. You know somebody that doesn't know already enough. Thank you. Any other announcements? Yes, sir. I might just add to anybody that's here or watching on the Instagram website. Uh, we have a number of positions uh, coming up for term on the, the city council committees, uh, or the city committees and commissions and boards and, and whatnot. If anybody has interest in serving, please contact me. Um, I do have people I'm contacting for different positions, but uh, uh, it's always nice when uh, people have uh, initiated that action. I feel like I'll participate. So. If you know anybody, or if, if you are one of those people, let me know. Anything else? Uh, this morning, it is my honor to um, to honor the Schusler Insurance and Real Estate Choice Insurance Group as our Chamber Member of the Month, established in 1973 by Harvey Schusler after purchasing the book of insurance business from the Albright Agency. Uh, it was operated out of Harvey's home until 1975, at which time he built the office that you know now, uh, 1002 Oklahoma Boulevard. Mike and Brenda could purchase the agency in 2001. Schusler Insurance and Real Estate offers a full line of insurance services, including business insurance, work comp, home, auto life and health and a full service real estate brokerage with three licensed brokers and five licensed agents. Thank you for your membership and service.